Hi guys and welcome to another video. In this video in particular, what we're going to do is we're going to be using a different method. So in a previous video that I've put up, you can have a look, it's about polynomial long division. Um, this is the same question, but we're just using a second method, another method that you can use. Both work, I'm just showing you both. Um, so what we are doing here is we're trying to find x-intercepts given a, a function and one intercept, okay? So this method is what we call synthetic long division, and it's going to do a lot with our, I guess you could say, our coefficients. So first thing we're going to know is that we're given an intercept. So one of my intercepts is 3. So the way I'm going to set it up is I'm going to just keep it to the side here, okay? I'm going to look out for my coefficients. Now imagine there's an imaginary one here, so there's one of my coefficients is 1. So I'm looking at 1, negative 2, negative 5, and 6. Now I'm going to write them out on this side. So I'm going to write 1, negative 2, negative 5, and 6. Okay? So as a result, what we're trying to do, if you saw my previous video, we're trying to get it oops, in a form where we've got a quadratic here or a expression with a degree of 2, okay, so a power of 2. So we're going to put that in there and we're going to then factorize that bit to help us find our intercepts, right? So one of the ways was algebraic long division or polynomial long division. We're trying to do it but in synthetic division, so just to give you again context. So now I've got this, I'm actually going to apply synthetic long division. Let's look really carefully, I'm going to go quite slow. So this first term is going to stay. So the first coefficient just travels underneath this line. So you set it up where you've got one of the roots that you're hopefully given in this top corner and you're going to give yourself a line and you're going to write the coefficients or the numbers in front from your expression that you're given, in this case a cubic, which is normally going to be a cubic, in this format. Okay. Now look really carefully. I'm actually going to use a thicker green. So. 3 times by 1 gives you 3. We're going to add these up. So negative 2 plus 3 is positive 1. I'm going to now go to a different color. 3 times by 1 is 3. We're going to add it up. Negative 5 plus 3 is negative 2. We're going to do it one more time. 3 times by negative 2 is negative 6. Add them up, you get 0. So in, you're going to hope that you've got no remainder. Now, if you've got a number here, it indicates there's a remainder and it doesn't go evenly. And so some people like to use this method just to test if it is a root. So let's say we put 4 in there. We can actually test to see if it's a root. And if there's a remainder, you would know that 4 is not a root. Okay? So in this case, it's zero, so it goes in evenly. Beautiful. These numbers that we've just come up with here represent the coefficients of our quadratic part. So let's rewrite this. So I'm going to write, remember I had x take 3 because I was told 3 was already a root. And then ax squared plus bx plus c. We have some sort of quadratic that we don't know. But now we know our coefficients. Let's put them in x take 3, x, 1x squared plus 1x plus, sorry, take 2. So just to show you, I put the 1s in there, of course, you don't have to. But look at that. We found a, b, and c through what we call synthetic division. So this process that I've just shown you up here with the arrows is what we call synthetic division. Okay? So now we've got this. I'm just going to rewrite it without the ones just because I like it that way. Um, we're going to now apply our factorizing of the quadratic. So we're going to go x take 3, x plus 2. Oh, sorry, that should be a plus. So x plus 2, x take 1. And there we go. And you'll notice we actually got the same answer in our previous video because this is the same question but i'm just doing a different method so you'll notice if you watch that previous video if you want to go have a look we get the same answer which is the point 
Excellent. So now we can say again, if we know their roots, y equals zero because any x-intercept has a y-coordinate of zero, null factor law. We're going to apply it now. That means x equals three, x equals negative two, x equals one. That means our x-coordinates are three, zero, negative two, zero, and one, zero. There we go. So thank you for watching. This was synthetic div long division. If you need to rewatch the video a few times and practice for yourself, really make sure you've got a bit of fluency there. And there is no better or worse method, by the way. You can choose either or. So you might find synthetic long division easier. Um, some people like it because it takes up a lot less space and it just seems quite um, intuitive. Um, but some people really like long division because you can sh see you're working out. Like I personally love it, but I know there are several people who really don't like it because this just looks quite, lo again, like long and like a lot of working out. But I think for me, it just seems like it makes a lot more sense. So you just pick a method that you like more and that's what you can use. Anyway, that's synthetic long division. Thanks for watching. Bye.